Hey guys, we're back in the shop space again today. It's been too cold to get much of anything done lately. Yeah, it does snow in Arizona. As you can see, I've got the project torn apart again. I've started and need to finish about a dozen little projects on the car. But today, today, we're not focusing on that stuff. Today, I wanted to show you this crazy notion that fell under my radar of converting a dual overhead cam V8 engine into a big bang engine. Why? I... I don't know, because I can. We know that a V8 has paired cylinders. When one piston is at top dead center on one bank, there is a cylinder on the opposite bank that also has a piston at top dead center. While one cylinder is on its compression stroke, the other is on its exhaust stroke. So big bang engine means to have multiple cylinders firing simultaneously. To achieve this in the dual overhead cam V8, we must flip one bank's set of cams 180 degrees, or 360 crank degrees. That way, the paired cylinders, one on each bank, have their top dead center compression stroke, and thus the power stroke, at the same time. There is also another phenomenon that occurs by doing this. It disrupts the V8's ability to have a power stroke from any given cylinder happen every 90 degrees of crank rotation. Instead, it makes the V8 act like it has two cross-plane four-cylinder engines that are attached to each other. The only mass-produced engine that utilizes a cross-plane four-cylinder engine is the 2009 and up Yamaha R1 motorcycle that is notably known for its sound. The cross-plane four-cylinder doesn't have an even 180-degree power stroke distribution like its flat-plane brother, and it doesn't have a 90-degree power distribution like a cross-plane V8. Rather, the power strokes are split up over the 720 degrees, starting with the first bang at 0 degrees, then the next bang 180 degrees later, then 270 degrees, 180 degrees, and finally 90 degrees to then start the cycle over. My plan here today is to bring cylinder 1 to top dead center compression. Remove the bank 2 valve cover. Get my BMW cam locking blocks in place on bank 2 cams. Remove the cam gear bolts and back off the cam caps so the valves don't hang open in the cylinders. Then spin the crank 360 degrees. Tighten the cam caps and reinstall the cam gear bolts. Whoa, that's some funky cranking. Let's see what it does fully assembled and some power to the ignition.
there we have it. The difference wasn't as drastic as I thought it was going to be. I actually like the slight Harley Davidson shake and tone to the exhaust with the Big Bang. I would consider leaving it long term if I knew for a fact it wouldn't hurt bearings, crank journals, and other engine internals. Perhaps once the vehicle is driving, we'll revisit this experiment again and see if there's a power and drivability difference between the two. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. See you next time.